Hey guys, how are you doing? After updating to iOS 26, why my iPhone battery health reduced 1% or 2% is a question that some of my audience have recently raised. So the answer is pretty simple. When you navigate inside the settings, battery section, battery health, if you notice one or two percentage reduce of your battery health, the maximum capacity, you don't have to be alarmed because it's not just the iOS 26 version that have you know reduced the one or two percentage battery health based on when you have purchased your iphone and how long you are using it month wise you need to calculate the battery health that will help you to get a better understanding about why the iphone battery health reduced after ios 26 update if you have recently got an iphone like six months or five months before and after updating to ios 26 if you're noticing such sudden drop in the battery health then calculate it from the month of purchase like if it is for example like six months it's been since you bought the iPhone and you are seeing like 3% or 4% reduce it is absolutely normal you don't have to worry about it it is a normal reduce based on our usage and charging practice as mentioned in our previous episode I'll leave a link to that in the description and in the first pinned comment you can check that how to do the correct charging practice for your iPhone to take care of the battery health. We cannot freeze the battery health at 100% forever, but based on your usage and charging practice, we can gradually make the reduce happen without several percentage drops, even for normal usage. If you're charging just once a day and your usage is very normal, the screen on time is average, then the battery health will not reduce faster. If there is any defect in your iPhone battery or any hardware related areas, then you will see the battery health reaching 80% within one year time, which is mostly within the warranty period. Even if you have Apple Car Plus, and if you see the battery health reduced within the one and a half years period, you can get a free battery replacement at Apple Service Center claiming the Apple Car Plus. But it is a very rare case and you don't have to worry about it normally. Without Apple Car Plus also, if there is any defect, you will see the fast reduce taking it to Apple Service Center within that one year warranty manufacturer warranty period. Even if you don't have Apple Car Plus, it's not an issue. They will check run diagnostics to identify any issues with the hardware level, the battery and the motherboard. Then they will do the necessary steps in order to get a free replacement of the battery or the entire iPhone if it is necessary. Again, it is a very rare case, so you don't have to worry about it. The only thing that you need to check about the battery health is like check it five to six months once. That will give you a clear idea how the gradual reduce happened since you first used or since you purchased the iPhone. If you check every month and you see 1% reduce, then it might be confusing to you. So checking every five to six months once will be helpful in this case. So this is why the iOS 26 battery health reduced one or two percentage after the update that it might be due for the reduce. So you don't have to worry. Just make sure to update the next upcoming iOS 26.1 and 26.2 versions to receive more battery tuning and performance related bug fixes so that you will get good battery backup overall for your usage and you can have that normal charging practice. If you're a gamer, you use high screen on time, you charge twice or thrice a day off your iPhone, then the reduce is absolutely normal. You know, like people lose one or two percentage in a month when they have very high screen on time. I hope this video helped you to understand why your iPhone battery health reduced after iOS 26 update. Thank you so much for watching. For more useful iPhone, iPad and Mac related tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day.